Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Virgo's new moon energy reading for this upcoming new moon. Now in this message, we're going to look at the energy surrounding you through this new moon, what's challenging you through this new moon, and the outcome if you stay in this energy. I'll clarify throughout the message, I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. At the end of the message, I will pull an oracle card. And I'm also going to do an extended reading. So if this message is resonating for you, if it's something you're interested in, the link is below in the description box. Most important message here for Virgo Spirit, what do my Virgo friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. Definitely feel like there's an energy of like getting clear on your path or realigning yourself with your purpose. Okay. Three of Wands on the bottom of the deck. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Judgment and the Three of Coins. So there is a particular person in your life that I honestly feel here they want a reconciliation, Virgo. But is this something that you're open to? Is this something that you're willing to experience here? And I honestly feel like there's been a lot of water under this bridge. I don't feel like you're open to a reconciliation here. I feel like you're saving yourself for new things to come in, new experiences to come in. Okay. So the energy surrounding you, the queen of swords, the two of swords, the seven of staffs, this is you standing your ground. Okay. This is you being very direct with your words and setting boundaries when it comes to this person. It's like enough is enough here for a go is the energy that I feel. Okay. We're going to clarify as we go through. Now, with that being said, Virgo, I do feel like there are new experiences, new friendships, new relationships that are headed your way. So by you disengaging and making space for those new experiences to come in, if that's what you want, that's what you're going to get. Okay. So let's clarify the queen of swords, the two of swords, the seven of staffs for Virgo's energy, please. And thank you. Now, again, guys, if you find the messages helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. So I feel here, Virgo, honestly, this, I feel like this happened in the month of January. I feel like there was something that was revealed. Maybe you seen something or heard something and you took a step back from this person. And this could even be before January, but I feel like these secrets that came out were very revealing to tell you that you and this person's path weren't, weren't in alignment anymore. Okay. I do feel like you are standing your ground in that. Okay. You're waiting for new experiences to come in and you're not entertaining the BS. And that's exactly where you need to be. I do feel like there are new things that are coming in, new experiences that are coming in could be with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. And I feel like this is going to be more in alignment with what you want for your future. Okay. Okay. I also feel for some of you, there are going to be many options coming in and you're going to have a choice, okay? So it's going to be very important for you to be in alignment with your purpose when that takes place so you know which option is best to choose. Let's pull a few cards out for your advice guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for the extended version to the reading, it's all linked below in the description box. In the extended version, we're going to look at all the new things that are coming in. What is coming from this transmutation of energy? Okay, so if that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Again, the links are below in the description box. So Virgo, Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords, Two of Staffs, Page of Cups. You have to be in alignment with your purpose. You have to know what you want your life to look like. So that way, when there's options that are coming in, whether it's partnerships, whether it's business opportunities, whether it's job offers, 
you can know if those opportunities are in alignment with what you want or not. That's why they say not all money is good money. Not all friends are good friends. It's going to be important for you to use your discernment through these next couple months to tell you whether this or that is in alignment. Okay. And that's where the, the first step of manifestation, guys, is knowing what you want. So how are you going to know what you want if you aren't clear? If you don't sit down and think about it and plan it out. So Virgo, take some time. If you haven't already, plan it out. Because there's new things that are coming in, new experiences, new opportunities, and you want to know if it is in alignment with your purpose or not. What am I looking for outside of myself that is already within me? Are you looking for more guidance, more confidence, more peace, more wisdom, love, or something else? When we search outside ourselves, we can become overwhelmed, frustrated, and never feel quite good enough. It's time to go inward to find everything you seek. All the answers you need lie within. Today's soul action, breathe in your favorite essential oil, inhale deeply into your belly, drop your shoulders, and spend some time hanging out with your soul today. Ask for what you need and be ready for the answer. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Virgo. I definitely feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. The main thing that I get is there's something here that you've recently gone through. It's kind of taken you off your path or put you in this scattered energy. And this reading is all about realigning yourself with what it is that you want without that chaos. So that way, you know, when these next opportunities come in, if they're meant to be on this path with you or if you need to ignore them. So take some time this next week or two set that intention for the next month. Virgo, thank you guys again for all the love and support. Again, if you're interested in the extended version, links are below. Otherwise, I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.